It's an interesting opportunity for Storm with two... Two powers already in the deck, actually. This could turn out to be a pretty good Storm. More loops. More loops. And our second Storm. Okay. 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 No rare cards allowed. Goal is to beat the uh, Heart on Ascension 20 with nary a rare. Good luck to us. So the key gives us one energy per turn, but causes us to become cursed whenever we open a non-boss chest. So that middle chest in the center of each act will give us a uh, will give us a curse, and that is a pretty big downside to deal with. The good news is I've already got a two-cost attack in Doom and Gloom, which makes a big spicy dark orb. Be sure to go with a focus. Streamline could be good too. Always a fan of self repair on defects. Provide sustenance over time. Definitely could have made good use of Melter last uh, last run. Blind is kind of interesting. Been a week. Let's just go strike remove, add a self repair. And that should make it a lot easier to do this gauntlet of elites without getting murdered. Really a fan of the streamline here. So I'll take more orbs. Definitely a rude fight, but not a bad one. Stinky rares. Probably going to be upgrading the Doom and Gloom for the next fight. Although, Defrag could also be a nice upgrade for, say, the Sentries. Hey, Sanguine Penguin. Penguin, it's good to be, really, really good to be back. Move was relatively painless. It's been a, a wonderful time away from the stream. Got a lot done. Did some improvements around the new place, maintenance. Got to make a trip down to the coast. Good times. 
Recursion for the Dark Orb can be useful. I really have trouble with Recursion most of the time, especially if you have no starting orb. It's all too often a dead draw, a card that's not doing anything the first time you see it, and by the second time you see it, it's too late. That's how I feel about this one, too. If I had a, a symbiotic virus starting us out with the Dark Orb, this would be a bit more useful. Do I want to streamline? It would definitely help. Alright, I'll take one. We'll upgrade the... Uh, the Doom and Gloom. Definitely helps here. Okay, Streamline was useful. Hello might not do a whole lot. We said no rares. So I'm not going to take this buffer, although I think the buffer is pretty good. It's an interesting opportunity for Storm with two... Two powers already in the deck, actually. This could turn out to be a pretty good Storm. Alright, I'll give it a chance here. It's the smallest type of chest, meaning it contains only a common or uncommon relic. Not willing to take a curse to get that. This should be easy. Sanguine Penguin, thank you so much for the insanely generous 10 gifted subs. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, everybody, and thank you, Penguin, for the ridiculous generosity. Oh yeah, let me update... let's see, we still have... Yes, that command is still there, so I'll just put that in the title. Sweet. had a lot of blood vials today. Oop, the hologram, I took the storm, right? Yeah, we should take more powers, please. Start your turn, trigger the passive ability of the next orb. Go ahead and take... Actually, you no, know, I like the current potions. Okay. Alright, lead number two down. How about number three? I'm just going to take the damage, rather than losing uh, max HP. With the self-repair, I think we get away with it.
strike this one. The Dark Orb is going to hit the enemy with the lowest HP. I guess I could have struck you front one twice and it would have died. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Easier elites. That's pretty exciting. Aggregate is excellent energy generation, whereas skim is excellent card draw. I think we'll go with the skim here. Draw three, since we already have four base energy. It's going to be really useful for ensuring we get to uh, see the cards we need on the right turn. We'll happily anger these mushrooms, I think, with our... Doom and Gloom Plus, we shouldn't have too much of a problem here. Assuming we can draw it. Wish I could guarantee that you die, but I can't. We need either of these, although the steam barrier is passable. Only passable. Don't feel like I want a sweeping beam. We haven't upgraded Doom and Gloom. Somewhere. There it is. Another buffer. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh well. Uh, do I want to go for the eyes? Not an unupgraded one. Let's just upgrade our defragment. For one more point of focus. Fight the slimy wimey boy. Loop plus a Darkness Orb should solve this fight pretty well for us. Slime, Crush, and all that. Alright, we'll just redraw to the, uh... Dual cast, and we should win that way. GG. Slime. Roosh. So, no rare cards allowed. We're not taking any of these three here. It's a real shame, too. Storm Thunderstrike could have been uh, kind of amusing. Either of these would have been fine, too. Alas. No thanks to Pandora's, right? Transforming all of our cards is very likely to result in rare cards. Not the world's worst Sozu, but certainly not the best. I guess with self-repair it's not too bad. These are good potions for the late game. 
I'm alright with that. Could also take Calling Bell. Three random relics. One common, one uncommon, one rare. In exchange for an unremovable curse. That unremovable curse is pretty gnarly, but there's a lot of good relics we could get. It would be much better than energy, too. Expected only two rare cards from Pandora's, but it could be a lot more than that. And even two would be a bit of a problem. I'm gonna take this Calling Bell. Dong. Aha! I hoped! I hoped we would see this. Yes. Who needs... Who needs an energy relic when you can just add Mummy Hand to your defect? Easy. We also get scales for return damage and 300 bucks which will more than make up for the unremovable curse. Good stuff. What a what a bell. What a bell. Now I can go to two shops. Hell yeah. I'm in. Where's those heat sinks when you need them? Best calling bell I ever had. Ooh. I remember we had a... I want to say I had a Watcher Run start with, with Molten Egg and Doodoodal one time. That was really, really good. Let's gain the block before the thorns kicks in. I don't think I want two of these. Impotter's okay. Hard draw. Eh. What I really want is a second copy of Storm. All strikes receive five bites in exchange for the blood vial. Increases the number of cards in the deck by two. But enables us to sustain ourselves by biting. Kind of dig that. Give me those bites. You wake up sometime later alone, and intense hunger passes through your belly. You must eat. Too many rare cards here. I mean, Frozen Egg seems pretty good, right? Whenever you add a power card into the deck, upgrade it. Real shame I can't take this Creative AI. Or the Seek. But, uh, that's how... That's how the No Rares challenge goes. Or a Calcum's not bad either. Not quite, uh, VTSJ. Rare cards become more common the more- the longer that you don't see one. You don't have to actually take the rare card for your rare chance to reset, you just have to see it. I think I can afford to lose Zap. Okay, let's just lose a defend. Plenty of healing. Take one of it. 
Offer calling, but wait, I don't want your gift. <laughs> and Loth increases our chance of finding rare cards, which this particular challenge run does not want. A real shame. Looks like we're this this run could be could be many buffers, you know? Get out of here. Shake your head. Show me an upgraded power. Yeah. Can I afford the souvenir too? No. I preserved insect too? Okay. Why, hello there. Singing Bowl lets us skip cards to gain max HP if we don't want the offerings. And I think that's the case here, although another cool hit it's not terrible. Bird nerds. More loops. More loops. I think I can do three more elites. We have massive sustain. So even if I have to take a bunch of damage to kill one of them, it's gonna be just fine. Guaranteeing that the streamline became free by using the mummy hand there. So much energy. Dang. Oh, Mamori with the curse key. How lucky. That means we negate the next two curses we would get. I also love this ball lightning plus, as it channels a lightning orb and it does 10 damage up front. Oh no, Matt Warbuckle. That's the realist. We're getting one of the keys. Happens to the best of us. Right before the, the chest, too, with that Omori. Perfect. Perfect. Scoring us a kunai? Eh. Take the uh, Sapphire Key over that. Although we can play three attacks with some frequency, we simply don't have that many... Um... Lock cards? Okay, so with the Flex Potion, I can kill you. Somewhat reasonable. Didn't draw any powers on turn one. Thank you. 
More cards on turn one, more better. Force field costs less per power we've played. That's gotta be good. It's gotta be good. And we're noting a distinct lack of block, too, so that'll help. Greetings, birds. Hopefully we can get some health back here. It's so bad, but it is forbidden. Tony Twitch, thank you so much for the Prime sub and the two months. Kaka. Kaka. We did already refuse the orange pellets, though, right? Or was that last run? It was last run. And then I died to Nob. That's right. Oh, that was this run. Might be time to upgrade the storm, especially with our, uh, yeah, with our bigger opening draw. Let's ensure that we're getting that in play on turn one for maximum orb generation. Dark Orb will kill the leaders, since the leaders at the lowest HP. Dark Orbs are not randomly targeted like Lightning Orbs are. They always hit the enemy with the lowest health. Boot thingy. And our second storm. Okay. 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 Yes. It beginneth. It beginneth. Guess we don't need an upgrade potion in this deck. All the powers are going to be upgraded anyway. Yes, and in, in the event of a tie break, the Dark Orb goes for the enemy with the uh, the frontmost enemy. With the lowest HP. Between all available targets. Odd Mushroom reducing our uh, vulnerable taking damage here. Upgraded Cold Snap. Yeah. Let's take Upgraded Orb Generation. And let's get this loop upgraded. Alright, worst case scenario, we'll have to use the Focus Potion to beat Bronze Automaton. Realistically, though, I suspect that we have it either way here. chunk of damage this turn. Guess we'll use the skill potion. Yeah.
Refrost orbs, please. Commence the zapping. I can probably get some of that back with the bites. Since I loop so hard. Delicious! Tempting, but no. It's against the rules, right? Although that Electro Plus is so nice with the storms. Don't feel like we need more energy. Uh, removing two with the Empty Cage sounds pretty good. Shrink this deck down quite a bit further. Could transform and upgrade three cards, although the likelihood that we get rare cards is significant. Now that we have the Ball Lightning Plus, the Zap is less important, so I don't mind removing Zap. I don't mind removing Defends, either. Like, they're fine to get rid of. And of course, we can lose one or more Bites. Let's start by losing... Zap Defend. Hey, hey, everyone. Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel to do what I love every day. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. I do want to visit shops as shops guaranteed offer upgraded powers to us. So that's a pretty cool thing. Elites are pretty easy to kill, too, so we should look at them. How many upgrades do we need? Not really any. Would love a heat sinks. Elites that way, too. So two different ways to get three elites. Just a question of how many rest sites do I want to visit? And the answer is... None, I think. Start over here on the right. Had a lot of claws. With the loops, I don't think auto shields is that good, although it could be helpful. 15 block. Definitely could be helpful. Unless she unturns where we can't loop the frost orbs because I played too many lightning orbs. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take more combats because we want to find uh, card rewards with powers in them, ideally. But auto shields doing something.
Yeah, we had Blood Vial for these bites, so we didn't lose any max HP to receive them. And we've additionally been scaling up with the uh, Singing Bowl. So we are a chonky, bitey defect. It's pretty cool. Done, sir. Is Leap the best block card no one ever takes? Auto Shield is the best block card no one ever takes. I think. Surprisingly good. Especially upgraded uh, where it gets plus four. I should have played auto shields and I could have guaranteed the free thingy there. Slots. That will definitely, definitely help. Three orb slots. If we can get just a little bit more focus, I mean, we do have a focus potion, that might be enough. We're very close to having what we need. that many block cards, so I, I shouldn't be too surprised, but it's a grim omen of things to come. 
Random powers, that could be like real rare powers. Electro, creative AI, echo form, you name it. And our second egg, which makes all powers. Or er, uh, all attacks upgraded, excuse me. Panic button's a kind of cute way to block. Go for the eyes plus is definitely nice. Got some reasonable block cards here. I'm definitely gonna buy this panic button. I think it's time for Streamline to go. I never upgraded it. No thanks to reprogram. Yes, yes. Get rid of this. Maybe? Could take Medical Kit or War Paint. War Paint upgrading two random skills. Skim, Panic Button, Force Field, Skim, Cool Headed, Glacier, Defend, Dual Cast. Those are pretty good hits. Basically, no matter what we uh, achieve there. Out of the Discharge. Go with the War Paint. Defend and Skim, I'll take it. Blizzard could be interesting, maybe as a way to scale up once we've uh, played all the powers, but I don't feel like we have enough Frost Orb generation for Blizzard to be good. You need lot, like lots and lots. One Glacier, not enough. Two Glaciers, still not enough. Three? You're starting to talk about Blizzard being mediocre at that point. It really takes a lot. I'm gonna die. see it. That's more frost orbs. Aggregate for energy generation also, theoretically okay with our skims. Better if we had a heat sinks. I feel like I need the frost. Giant head shouldn't be too bad. Giant head at least gives us the courtesy of setup time. Bad. Another force field, this one upgraded. That will help with our block situation, too. Big time. Bottled Flame. Bottling Doom and Gloom can help. Ensuring that we get a Dark Orb started on turn one, although it's less useful because of our storms. Still, I'll, I'll take it. I don't want to bottle the go for the eyes. We explicitly want to draw this on turn two or three. 
against Heart. Maybe Cold Snap? So we have a Frost Orb to work. But, we'll take the Doom and Gloom. Current strat for Awakened One is hope that one Focus Potion is enough somehow. I don't know that it will be, but, you know. You do what you can. Lightning Orbs are more valuable than Frost Orbs against this opponent. Too bad. Yes! Gokaka, you can fight the Transient uh, or any other regular combat two times in the same run. Or even more, actually. Potentially three or more times. Many players are familiar with the rule for elites. You cannot face the same elite twice in a row. So every time you're facing a subsequent elite, it's a 50-50 of the... There's only three elites for each act, so with one eliminated, there's only two possibilities. For regular combats, the rule is similar but not quite the same. You cannot fight the same combat as either of your previous two combats. But you could fight Transient, for example, every third combat. Ooh, another go for the eyes or another cold snap. Both exceptional here. I think I'm going to take the Frost Orb. Get him. That does not include the Darklings, who you can fight twice in a row because they are jerks. Since they're both in the easy and the hard pool, you can encounter the easy pool version of them and then the hard pool version of them back to back. Wow, we got basically all of our HP back. Not how you beat Awakened One. Alright, well, our first boss is not Awakened One. We'll hopefully find out that the second one is also not Awakened One, but... Um... Good luck to us and all that. Really good turn one, we got a lot of setup done. Definitely want to kill Donu first to stop their scaling.
Yes. Unlimited power. Yes, Electro. Hello. Welcome. Jedi Monkey, thank you so much for the full year of support. Much love for that incredible 12 months. GG Donu and Deck Nerd. Alright. Full HP into the Time Eater! Yes! <laughs> yes, thank you for not murdering me, video game. Thank you. <laughs> Never punished once in my life. Easiest way to beat Awakened One, don't face the Awakened One. No prob. Okay, three cards next turn. Here's all the powers. Good. Next turn might hurt a lot. Well, by three. That's not too bad. Not a good timing for that storm. Zoopity. Give them. Zoopity. Yeah, that puts the frost in front. That should be very helpful. Leave it at two cards for next turn rather than one. Ideally, we're getting as much HP back as possible here. We're killing. Realistically, I should probably just kill. GG, we're into Act 4 with no rares here. We've only been- we've only managed to do this a couple of times with this particular challenge. So I'm feeling pretty dang excited right now. This deck definitely has the front load to deal with Spire Spear and Spire Shield, doubly so because of Preserved Insect. Let's just keep upgrading, I think, the card draw, probably. Upgrading Force Field is reasonable. Upgrading Dual Cast is reasonable. 
Let's upgrade skin. Ah. Oh! Dolly's mirror on defrag. Okay. That might be enough. It's about all I can realistically do. Two more points of focus is a big deal. Yeah. That's that's gotta be it. Has to be. Stay facing the spear. Yeah, we saw no heat sinks the entire run. That does sting a bit. It's okay. This dark orb gets looped. That's really exciting. Don't have dual cast. Uh, no, no, I do have dual cast. That's right. So Dark Arm goes from 18 to 54 instantly. It's not quite enough here, though. Or is it? Ha! Ah! Eighty-four hit points going into heart. One more cool-headed for a bit more block. And we have the focus potion. I think we have a chance here, chat. We definitely want white noise to cooperate with this. I'm, I'm hoping for creative AI personally, but echo form would be just fine. Let's go. If we do play the storms, be foolish not to. We really need the damage. Some beats here. It's a storm? That's hilarious. Definitely not the worst outcome, though. Okay, we did over 100 damage on turn one. That's pretty promising. And Glacier went to the discard pile, so it's a good Liquid Memories target, too. Perfect turn for Go for the Eyes. I love this. This is actually just a fine turn on its own. Probably want to either. Yeah. Like, what points to spare? Do I need to do that now? I think we should hold on to the liquid memories for a moment. Got health. Let's use it. Possibly next turn. Let's 
it's a good damage, so I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with the loop as it is. This looks sketchy, though. Okay, I realistically need a Frost Orb in front next turn. So, for... so yes, here we... Hologram Glacier... Yeah. Or not Hologram, Liquid Memory is the Glacier here. Two, three... We go Dual Cast first. Then Ball Lightning, then Self Repair. Take a bit more this turn. Next turn, we have plots plenty of Blanc. Hopefully. Damage? Yes? Yes? Come on, let's go. Get looped on, nerd. Delet, thank you so much for that generous tier 2 sub in the 18 months, the year and a half of support leading up to this glorious, no rares, defect, victory. GG, everybody. Hey, hey everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Did you know that I'm live five days a week on Twitch? Come join us to watch me live, ask questions, or chill with the community. Click the link in the description below to follow and be notified when I'm live. And while you're down there, make like a sandwich and sub to this channel for more fresh Baylor content. Ta-ta for now.